You guys know I love universal packaging formats on Linux. I like all three of the major ones, snaps, flat packs, and app images. I talk about app images all the time here on the channel, and you guys love to laugh at me every time I bring up app images. Oh, app images, they're not really secure, blah, 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 blah. And you flat pack haters love to talk about how flat packs are not really sandboxed correctly and this and that and everything. And snaps, well, the problem with snaps is Canonical is behind it. It's got this corporation behind it, and they run the snap store. There's only one snap store all the snaps are in it canonical runs it and the problem with that is that the snap servers is all proprietary the back end of it is proprietary that doesn't mean the snaps themselves are proprietary when you install a snap on your system that's probably free and open source software for the most part as long as the program is free and open source software now there are snaps of proprietary programs but don't think by you guys using snaps that you're installing proprietary software. I think some people get that kind of twisted, but yes, the servers at the Snap Store where you're actually downloading the packages from, that's owned by Canonical and it's proprietary. It's not open source, but there's nothing stopping anybody from creating their own repository of Snap packages. And that's what this guy posted a few days ago over on Twitter. He announced the first beta of LOL, which is an open source alternative to the Snap server. It's been released. Uh, this guy's name is Rudra Sawazwat. I probably mispronounced your name. I do apologize if that's the case. He claims that the LOL server is independent from the Snap Store servers. It has the core snaps included, of course, and he also packaged up two other snaps, Discord and Telegram. And this is more of a proof of concept. He just packaged a few things just to show you guys that this can be done. And LOL, the source code for it, is hosted over on GitLab, and it looks like it's an archived project, so uh, we might actually try to get this installed here. I actually haven't tried this yet, but LOL, he calls it a variant of Snap, and you can think of it as a fork of Snap, but because you can't really use the snap command you can't do snap install name of program like snap install discord for example it's going to go to the official snap store canonical snap store to get discord if you want lol's version of discord what you want to do is you want to do lol install discord or whatever name of program so this is the source code for lol and the lol server is also hosted over here on uh, gitlab let me go to the lol server here and if you want to see the packages that are packaged up go into this directory here and you can see it's got the core snaps it also has a hello world snap that's just a standard uh, it just prints out hello world for you that's how you know if your snap installation actually works or not that's typically how people test it and then of course he packaged up discord and telegram and there's also the uh, validity sensor tools i'm not sure what that is so he's got you know three or four snaps here other than of course the core snaps so i'm actually going to try to set this up and, and see if this will work so what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch over to this virtual machine this is a virtual machine of ubuntu 2104 let me go ahead and open a terminal i'll make it full screen and let me zoom in and the first thing we want to do is we want to git clone the lol repository so that was hosted over at https colon slash slash gitlab uh, dot com slash his username was lol dash snap slash and the repository was simply called uh, lol and let's see git is not currently installed uh, ubuntu does not install git out of the box so let me quickly install git all right, git finished installing. Let me clear the screen and then I'm going to up arrow to get back to the git clone command. And now it should work if I do it ls. Now we see the lol repository here in our home directory. I'm going to cd into that lol directory. If I do a ls, you can see I have a license readme and then I have a program lol and then snap here which snap is a directory. So LOL is actually an executable. It's a, a program. If I did a long form LS, LS space dash LA, you can see LOL, you can see it's executable. It has some X's in the file permissions. That means it's a, a script that can actually be executed. It can be ran. It's a program. Now to use LOL, the snap daemon has to be running. It has to be installed on your system and already running, being that I'm doing this on Ubuntu. Ubuntu has snap already installed out of the box. The snap snapd daemon's already running. 
running out of the box. So I don't have to do anything in that regard. If I was doing this on another distribution, say Arch Linux, for example, then I would also, as a prerequisite, I would also need to install Snap and make sure that the SnapD daemon is running. And now that we have LOL installed, I'm going to execute a command with LOL, that program there, LOL. And it looks like reading their GitLab, the first thing you want to do is refresh. So do LOL, refresh, LOL. So it's going to refresh the LOL package, I guess, is what that is. And it says LOL, command not found. Maybe I should have prefaced LOL with dot slash LOL because it's probably more like a, a Python script or something like that. It's not a it's not a proper binary. Simply saying LOL is not going to work. So let me do a period slash LOL refresh LOL. And it says please run as root. So we got to be root to execute this script as well. And it looks like it is running. Yes. So it is updating the LOL packages. And you can see verified the downloaded snap. And it's going to refresh. I'm assuming it's going to refresh the LOL package itself. Yeah, and it, we get a output here. LOL beta 1.1 is installed. So from here, what I could do is I could, again, as sudo, uh, and, and honestly, you need sudo privileges to do the snap commands too. So typically you do sudo snap install gimp or whatever snap package you're installing. So same thing, sudo lol, but remember the uh, period and the slash lol install. And this time, uh, what was packaged in the LOL server? We had Discord, Telegram. There was also the Hello World uh, program. So let me see if I can install that. And it's taking a few seconds for the download. All right, it says Hello is installed. Let's see if we could actually run this. So is there... Hello, yeah, hello world. That's all that program is. All it does is echo hello world at the command line. But that is a very simple snap just to verify that your snap installation, or in this case, our LOL installation is actually working. So this is really cool. I love the fact that, you know, again, this is more of just a proof of concept that anybody can create their own third party snap server. And all you need to do basically is just fork LOL. He's already done the work for you. He's shown you, he's got this LOL script basically, and he's got his own LOL dash server. And here's the thing with LOL, you can actually set it to use any server by default. It's using LOL dash server here. And you know, it's using all these packages here, right? But you can set up your own LOL server or it doesn't have to be called lol server but you can set up your own github or gitlab repository of your own snap packages and have lol use your own repository so this really opens the door for a lot more people to create snap packages if for some reason the one thing holding you back from using snaps is that you've got the one snap store that's run by canonical if that's the reason that you truly hate snaps, you know, for those of you that complain. Look, that, that's that's not the case. Anybody can create their own snap packages. I've created many of my own snap packages, and, and they're very portable. I can keep them on a USB stick. I can, you know, take them around with me and install my own snaps on any machine. If I wanted to host my own repository over on GitLab, you know, I could do that as well. I'm not that invested in snaps, so I probably won't do that. These days, I'm mostly invested in packaging for Arch Linux. I have my own Arch repository repositories, but this was an uh, excellent job. <laughs> job well done on the LOL package and the LOL dash server. Now, before I go, I want to thank a few special people. I want to thank the producers of this episode. Gabe James Mitchell, Paul Scott West, Akami Allen, Chuck, Commander Angry, Diokai, David, Dylan Gregory, Heiko, Lee, Maxim, Michael, Mike, Nitrix, Arian, Alexander, Peace, Arch, and Fedora, Polytech, Raver, Red Prophet, Steven, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode about the LOL fork of snap. It wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to help me out, please support DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. The snap haters are about as bad as the system D haters. <laughs>